You could ask yourself, what is it that you're afraid to lose, or what are you holding on to? For some people, it's money, or jobs, or relationships, even health. Maybe it's fear of losing your social network status. Of course, some of these are really important that you don't lose them. You don't want to lose your health, obviously. Most people don't want to lose their job, and most people don't want to lose money. These things that we need to make sure we don't lose, perhaps we need a different approach, a different way of thinking about them, rather than squeezing them so tightly. When you're ready, move to the next slide. When we hang on to things very tightly, we actually stop the flow of energy. In addition, we become very tired, we develop muscle pain, and a lot of our conscious energy becomes tied up in this effort of just hanging on to it just so we don't lose it. Think about just holding on some object in front of you that may weigh a couple of pounds straight out in front of you. Eventually, we become fatigued. Perhaps if we're struggling this hard, we may have to ask ourselves, if we just let go, what would happen? When you're ready, move to the next slide. So often with fear, things that we fear that could come true, we realize that in many cases, they never come true. The worst case scenarios never happen. If you think about letting go of your job, that doesn't mean pushing it away. If you thought about letting go of this fear of losing money, it doesn't mean you're going to lose all your money. But it's a different relationship to it. If you let go of these things and started to just allow the flow of energy to experience some enjoyment in them, do you really think that they would go away? And if they did, perhaps that means something. When you're ready, move to the next slide. We can look at squeezing things on a much more literal level. We look at something like atherosclerosis, which is a squeezing of blood vessels due to plaque and fat buildup in arteries. Blood vessels have the ability to contract as well. In fact, this is one of the ways we control blood pressure, is through a contraction or squeezing of a blood vessel. It's interesting to note that most heart attacks happen at 9 o'clock on Monday mornings. Perhaps this fear, this squeezing, has far more serious health effects than we're even aware. When you're ready, move to the next slide. Relationships, of course, are another example where people may squeeze onto it, hold onto it so tightly that they're afraid to lose it. But if you were to let go, and again, not push away, let go and allow the flow of energy to be experienced in a relationship, What's the worst that could happen? When you're ready, move to the next slide. Money is another thing that people hold on to. They squeeze money, hang on to it because they don't want to lose it. Money, of course, is just simply energy. It's not the paper it's printed on or the coin that it's stamped on. It is energy. It has the ability to affect change. But if we hold on to it or fear it, some people even push it away. We can't allow for the natural flow of this energy. Consider your own relationship to money. When you're ready, move to the next slide. Today's meditation is going to be a meditation with a music video. It's approximately three to four minutes long. And the name of the song is appropriately titled, Just Let Go. Before allowing this video to run, start to think about one thing that you might be holding on to tightly. Think about letting it go and letting it flow. Remember, letting it go is not pushing it away. It's not even suggesting somehow that you've lost interest in it. In fact, it's quite the opposite. When you're ready, you advance to the next slide, which will should automatically start this video. If it doesn't, the link below will take you to it. 
look forward to seeing you tomorrow.